Welcome back to Starfield. In the last episode, we continued the mission Hostile Intelligence, and it ended up getting bugged, and I had to fix the bug in order to advance that mission. So it was a pretty annoying mission to complete because of the bug. But we got through it. And now we just gotta return to uh, the forward base 441 and we can turn in the, or complete the mission I guess. Unless there's more to it. Oh crap. The terror morphs here. Don't know if they're dead. Now it is. Oh shit! Hell back. Don't let anything go to waste. Well, you don't have to worry about that with me. What the hell? Crap, dude. Got all kinds of stats settlements on me and everything. Over encumbered. Getting swarmed by terror morphs. They're weak to laser weapons though. I noticed. I don't know if they're weak to laser weapons, but they this weapon seems to be pretty good against them. I have the Stealth Summit Pain. Trying to get down there. Oh shoot, that was a friendly. I thought I was a I thought I was a damn terramore. They all might be hostile down here though because I had to kill a lot of I had to attack a one of those dog things and the UC in the last episode because the quest was bugged. I was forced to. Anyway, here's where we gotta go right here. Alright, let's talk to Dr. Percival Walker here. Look at all of you. Back from the underworld. Got pretty frantic on the comms towards the end there. But it sounded like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. Can't be positive until we run some tests. But knowing that the Terramors have been masquerading oh, crap, as TV off all this time is a big buy. Arguably makes Isn't things more on? feasible. Now that we know what we're doing, not less. Agreed. Plus, I don't think you're going to have to push real hard to get folks on board with cleaning up one of the galaxy's greatest pests if this is what they're capable of. But none of that's getting done without the samples. You do have them, right? Ah, uh, this place. 
place for him. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vay Victus knew about this damn plant? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. It's a bit more complicated than that. I'm sorry, what? He's pulling my leg, right? Adrian? No, I don't believe he is. So that means we have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. Look, Captain, Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But Vey Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Since you're the only one who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him to cough up anything he might know. Hold up, before we continue, I was right in the last episode. I said, is Gerald, is Dr. Percival's voice actor the same as Gerald's voice actor from Roddy Out of Stories? And it turns out I'm right. They're both voiced by B-E-A-U, B -E -A -U, I don't know how to pronounce that name, by Bayou or uh, Billings Slayer is his name. He voiced Gerald from Roddy Out of Stories and Dr. Percival in this game. That's awesome. I knew he sound familiar, sounded familiar to me. That's awesome. All right, let me up the volume again. I just wanted to bring that up. Yeah, he has the same voice like there's Gerald from Roddy Out of Story, which is my favorite game. Captain, I truly don't. He's already shown he's taken an interest in you. I'll be a lot more useful in the lab right now than I would be grilling Francois. So do you think you could do it? Please. Plenty of people out there with grudges against the UC, but he's the only one we know had any knowledge of the Lazarus plant. So right now, it's the only option we've got. Will you do it? Good. We'll all meet back at Mast, outside the cabinet chambers. They're gonna wanna know everything we've uncovered here. Best of luck, Captain. And thank you for dealing with him. So we got 11,400 credits there and I think about 400 EXP was it? Are they hostile towards us over here? The turrets ain't. Yeah, but yeah, we gotta go back to mass now. I think I have ways to cure my status ailments. I'll do that after we get back on the ship, though. Oh, should hit cockpit. Oops. Yeah, 
Always about Cora. But can't really blame him, it's his daughter. <laughs> Pretty sure I'd be saying the same thing if I had a daughter, but obviously I never will. I think my game froze. Seems to be happening more frequently. Oh no it didn't. Alright, let me try to cure my status elements real quick. Confusion. Difficulty breathing. Shock. Difficulty breathing, okay. I don't think I can do anything about that. Just have to go to the doctor. I don't have anything to cure that. I just usually store my grenades because I don't really find them to be that useful. Instant oatmeal. I guess I could use that Penancia or whatever. Okay. I don't know if I want this weapon anymore. It is pretty powerful. Yeah, I guess I'll hold on to it. This is a sniper rifle. Maybe that's worth keeping around. This could be a pretty good weapon too. Because it is uh, fully automatic. It has armor piercing rounds as well.
Let me use that panacea or whatever and hope it cures my status ailments. Yeah, it did. All right, we'll go back to mass then. I'm going to speak with Faye Victus. Mass District. Subsection 7, uh, Samco's going to have to, s Samco can't come with us, so. It'll just be me and Ve Victus. Yeah, he might be responsible. This guy might be responsible for the plants. Uh, if you didn't see the last episode, um, these plants are making the heat leeches, you know, like the little itty bitty things that we've been seeing throughout the game. They actually are terramorphs. Believe it or not. And there's like a plant that Lazarus plant or whatever it's called that makes them grow into terramorphs instantly instead of it taking like I think they said in the last episode like 70 years it, it takes 70 years for a uh, heat leech to become a terramorph anyway let's go ahead and activate the intercom here and I might be wrong about the time frame but how long it takes for them to grow. I think they said 70 years, but I'm not 100% sure. Well, what a pleasant surprise. When I heard you and Hadrian were headed for Londinian of all places, I presumed you must be onto something big. Did you find what you were looking for? I haven't been to Londinian in many years. Why? Is there some way I could be of assistance? Were you able to recover what you were looking for? Good news then. So, what exactly are you doing here? Plenty still to be done in defeating the Terramors, no? Thank you. 
sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusions. After all, given the cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. Of course. Do I look like I'm in any position to do what you're describing? So I'd very much appreciate your agreement to not share what you found. We wouldn't want anyone else jumping to conclusions now, would we? Easy to say now, but in that moment, I wasn't about to add another dangerous variable to an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies, my life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, 
the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. Why would I want to be in the good graces of the people who control my very life? I don't know, Captain. Maybe I still dream of a life outside these walls someday. A new face would be needed, of course, but it wasn't an impossibility. Though now, I'm not so sure. It wasn't easy. But the beauty of being loathed is that people will do whatever they can not to deal with you. They wanted to pretend I didn't exist. And so I used their blind eye to my advantage. Still, establishing a back channel to Orlais via the UC recovery teams was painstaking work. I've led campaigns less nerve-wracking. They believed they were luring in wanted criminals, but were in fact delivering precisely encoded slates, filled with instructions invisible to any but their recipient, dropped off at just the right moments to fall into the proper hands, all without the UC realizing whom you're actually dealing with. Slow work. But as you can see, ultimately effective. Can't remember the many lives you've taken. <laughs> Orlaze was the man whose death you brought about around the moon of Etheria. The pilot of the Warlock. The man I had to eliminate. To hide my secret. without a villain. I simply arranged the opportunity for us to overcome one and become the other. And we all benefited. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the Cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. Something befitting the dedication to the colonies you two have shown. While, of course, they can't give you a command, responsibility like that has to be earned. The Cabinet does have access to... considerable resources. I expect you'll be quite pleased with the result. And none of it would have happened without my intervention. You're being honored only because I arranged the situations where it could happen. Be grateful. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the Terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the Cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the Cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaise and Orlaise alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. Hunting down criminals, and other threats to the United Colonies. I expect they'll give me a bit more free range once this is all over. You would help me, like you did with Orlais. 
Track them down, and keep them from doing harm to the United Colonies. Impossible, though, if the Cabinet learns I'm the one responsible for the attacks. And how many have you killed to get where you are now? There are no great works that don't cost lives, Captain. Whether it's winning a war, or digging a tram tunnel. So we sacrificed a few dozen in the attacks to possibly protect millions. That seems like a fair exchange to me. I only hope you'll see the same and leave my name out of the discussions to come. Hmm. I need to look this one up, I think. This is actually a tough choice. Because if I help him, then I'll obviously get more missions, which I won't. Um, but maybe you can still do the missions anyway. Okay, yeah, we do want to do that. Okay, fine. I'll make sure everything is pinned on our lace. Splendid. Then I won't keep you. You've got important work, after all. Here's to a bright future. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means he plans your work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? Orlais? Reginald Orlais? He did this? I didn't think he was still alive. You're sure it was him? Oh yeah. Both worked for UC Defense Research way back when. Different departments, but everyone knew Orlais. Had a mean eye for weapons tech. And a meaner temper. Wasn't exactly a surprise when he fled instead of standing trial after the colony war. But finding out he's taken up mass murder in the years since. That is a shock. You're sure about this? Didn't say that. Just surprised to find out my former colleague is now dropping alien predators into unsuspecting cities. 
Just want to make sure we've got the right man. You're certain. UC certainly has a special talent for churning out homicidal assholes now, don't they? Uh, present company excluded, of course. That's some impressive work. So then give us the rundown. Where's Orlais now? Were you able to bring him in? I'm sorry to hear that. Those sorts of missions are always tough. Any idea why he might have done it? Or what he was doing with the plant? Another madman justifying butchery. Well, at least he won't be able to hurt anybody else now. Might be the best we could ask for, given the circumstances. So I guess there's nothing else to do but get this all in front of the cabinet. Unless there were other things we needed to discuss. This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Asilis aren't hostile to humans, but they are mega fauna. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, it could get ugly. But they've already been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so the risk of introducing them to new worlds is minimal. Using them to clean up the terramorphs and leeches, though, it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Given what we know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Asilis, we're at least dealing with known risks. They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. And the Asilis seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So, I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet weigh in, see if they have a preference. And here we go. Glad they're willing to listen, but I'm going to leave most of the talking to you two. Not the person you're supposed to be talking to right now. Let's get started, shall we? I would like to begin in this geological era. Just step onto the platform and we can begin. Wrong spot, Captain. Stage fright? Wouldn't blame you. Guess it's time. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? This report comes from a 
a particularly confidential source both you and I are familiar with, yes. Among the reasons its findings are so alarming. Now, is it true? Was the attack on New Atlantis planned? My God. An attack? Using terror morphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? That appears to be the case, ma'am. The Captain tracked that information down just after our trip to Londinian. Reginald Orlais? Wasn't there a report he'd been killed recently? Body was found floating around Etheria. Report mentioned you were sent to try and bring him in, Captain. I guess that didn't go according to plan. Ah, uh, yes. I was told about your mission, and who ordered it. Did you two suspect at the time Orlais might have been involved in the attacks? Only that it would have been preferable if you'd managed to find him before he murdered UC citizens. Now, are you going to answer the question for me or not? Did you already suspect Orlais? Hmm. Well, it appears you are ahead of the curve. This report contains definitive evidence Orlais triggered the attacks via this Lazarus plant the Captain and Major Sanan uncovered. Simply heroin. Indeed. Though it would have been preferable for him to have finally faced the UC's justice, it seems both of you are to be commended for ensuring he was dealt with before he could strike again. You have our thanks. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives, but it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Well, luckily the natural hostility of Londinian makes keeping out trespassers relatively easy. But we'll ensure its growth is contained, that access to the plant is only permitted via highly regulated clearances, and that our true presence on Londinian is increased. I'm glad you think so. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech, presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves, but the captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter.
Hmm. I'm gonna look this up too. Gather your thoughts, and let's continue. Okay, the Asilis. Okay, so we'll pick Please Oh yeah, let me, yeah, we'll do this style, we'll do this dialogue too The responsibilities will be spread across multiple branches of the UC Research and day-to-day -day administration will be handled by a new group under the science division all diplomatic concerns and coordination will fall to Chief Yassin and Interstellar Affairs. But most of the actual on the ground work, that'll be handled by the Vanguard. This won't work without them. Exactly right, ma'am. The Interstellar Affairs Office has already begun reaching out to worlds throughout the settled systems, informing them of the risks we're all facing, and that the UC has a plan to prevent what happened on New Atlantis from happening elsewhere. Thus far, the response has been overwhelmingly positive. The spirit of mutual cooperation displayed between the UC and the Freestar Collective in managing the Terramorph data set a good tone for the work we're doing, Captain. We expect we'll hit some resistance, but our office has plenty of carrots and sticks to ensure the program's widespread success. Infinitesimally low. But not zero. The chance of a starship landing on you as you sit here isn't zero, yet you still attend it. Personally, my fear isn't mutation, but Terramorphs developing a resistance. But that's something our group can continue to address if we decide to take this approach, as I believe we should. I can feel this one. While intimidating creatures, certainly, Asili's are docile and less provoked. They're honestly closer to oversized mobile scanners than deadly predators. The concern is that while all proposed methods will be long-term efforts, the Asilis are the slowest, slow to breed, slow to deploy. We do everything we could to accelerate that process, including mustering some of our mothballed cloning technologies. But if we do elect to use this method, we'll be doing things at the pace of a megafauna, which is not an expedient one. Very well. Then did you have a preference on the method we should deploy? I believe we have a responsibility to do something, yes. Heavens forbid, years from now, someone reopens the Pandora's box that Orlais discovered. It falls to us to enact every measure required to ensure that day never comes. I'm in full agreement. No need be delving into unpredictable sciences. I expect my evening constitutionals are about to become a whole lot more eventful. Hardly. You may just have a little more company than before. Order, please. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today, Marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens to our ranks. Class One? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is Thank you, ma'am. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies, or done great things for its cause. Class Ones enjoy an ample credit disbursement, an additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods. And I'm told the penthouse is rather impressive. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sanan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts, spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. And as a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you, Captain, will have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. You see any heat leeches? You've got our permission to take care of them. Things are dangerous, apparently. Okay, so... On the upper volume. I could have never guessed where all this was going to lead. But now, knowing what I do, that my past is less of a closed book than I thought it was. Well, I've just spent a lot of my life in pursuit of the truth. So, you bringing it straight to me, it just means a lot. The best ones certainly do. You know, I was thinking, while we were there on the podium, if I wanted to try and see him again. But I knew the answer before I even finished the thought. I didn't. Because confronting him, what would I gain from that? From letting him remind me I can never truly be rid of him? Nothing. Now, all I'd be doing is acknowledging that he still has some sway over my life. And while I can't do anything about his role in my past, I'm not about to let him control my future. And thanks to what we've done together, that future is brighter than it has been in a long time. Words can't do justice to how grateful I am for that. You know I can't do that. I've got an assignment. But I wouldn't be upset if you came by the HQ every now and then. Remind me how much I owe you. Well, I think it's safe to say you succeeded beyond anyone's wildest dreams. It's been an honor, Captain. Good luck out there. I really appreciate you telling the me the truth. The whole of the settled systems are in about your debt. Whether they you know. know or not. All right, we're first class citizens. We completed the UC Vanguard quest line. I guess, but there might be more here. We, she said to talk to him, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a class one citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. It's a high honor. Have to do something big for the colonies to earn that sort of designation. Only ever met a couple myself. 
and certainly never given one orders. You should be real proud. No need to thank me. You brought this all on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your Class 1 benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the credits should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. Just out the front door and across the plaza, by the embassies. Look for the Affilion sign. Higher-ups wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But, with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. There are your standard Vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up Terramorphs. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any, uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those missions call to you? Any chance to bag some bugs, right? Well, I can provide. Let me just check my logs. Okay. These coordinates should get you to your first target... there. These missions are straightforward. Proceed to the location, kill the critter before it can do any more harm. Just be smart out there. Don't want you getting banged up too bad on your first hunt. Super at Ultra, Captain. Had a question? Could use a hand clearing out some United up uh, for some flying. Trouble. At least a couple of crafts worth from the sound of it. But we don't expect them to play nice, so you'd be weapons free on this mission. Any level of force required to deal with the threat. So, still interested? All right, let's get you the details. Just getting those coordinates to you. Report says ships at these coordinates fired on United Colony's craft. You're clear to use lethal force if necessary. Sounds like pirates this time, but I'd suggest you be prepared for anything. Do us proud. All restrictions are off on this Terramorph mission. Not used to someone else riding Captain. Alright, let's go by the realtor place and... See what we can, if we can get that penthouse. I'm assuming we gotta buy it though, right? Is this it over here? Oh, that's the archives. Where's that royalty place? I forget where it says. Is this it? I think this might be it here. Yeah. It's a buyer's market right now. Good time to make a move. Well, well. If it isn't the United Colony's newest class one citizen, you've made quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. In fact, the higher-ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. What do you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. Great! You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. Okay, you're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. 
Now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. Okay, we got building materials too. Uh, Alright, let's head to the... Penthouse. And set that up as the objective, so I know where to go. Why is it saying down here? Oh. I'll take the net thing. Wow. Look out. Oh wow, look at the view. Damn, that's awesome. You can see uh, pretty much the whole planet from up here. That is freaking epic, man. You got a fridge with nothing in it. <laughs> As well, got a nice bathroom here. My light off. A beautiful painting there. It's a very nice place. Got a nice view over here too. And if you want to get down to the spaceport, you could just jetpack down there. Boost pack down there, whatever. you could do you don't feel like fast traveling down there bathroom here walk-in shower and it looks like I got a couple more bedrooms too I know this is a place to wash clothes another room there so two rooms two bathrooms can't go wrong with that well I don't know if this is really like a room or whatever it's too small to be a room right I don't know what this is supposed to be I guess you could use, I guess 
I guess there are technically rooms, I guess. This one here and then over there. So three rooms. One lar one of the rooms is larger. Then you have like a couple areas where you can look out. And you have two bathrooms. So yeah, very nice. Like you might be able to get on the, r the roof as well. Let me. Where's Sam at? Come here. Where did he go? He has my like better jet pack or boost pack. There he is. You know, normally I don't like working with just anyone. But of course, if you need me to host. He has a basic boost pack, which is better than what I have because it just works better. It goes up higher. Always a pleasure. Maybe not. I thought it did. Hmm. I guess not. Yeah, there's the view. <laughs> there he is over there. Come on down, Sam. That's my penthouse. She is teleporting on me. I want to get on top of that building. I don't think it's possible. It's a long way down, though. Go down to the spaceport. I'm up here. I'm not going to be able to make it down there though. God, I gotta make it across. <laughs> this is so stupid. You never do this. Not really, though. That's kind of fun. It's like Django Fett. Alright guys, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.